As you're well aware, today marks my final day as the Chief of the Defence Force. When I assumed command on, uh, on the 4th of July 2011, the Australian Defence Force, Force was on the cusp of significant change. More than 3,300 personnel were deployed on operations in Timor-Leste, the Solomon Islands and Afghanistan. New combat capability projects were commencing and Defence had just embarked on a cultural reform program. I want to reassure everyone that Air Chief Marshal Mark Binskin will continue the work which began my ten during my tenure when he assumes command. I'm always impressed by the passion and professionalism you apply to the work you do at home and abroad despite adversity or danger when Australia calls on its defence force in times of need you respond with compassion and capability. That is why we choose to serve, that is why I chose to serve and I am immensely proud to have served as your CDF. The ADF is in good hands, committed as Mark is to continuing the task of leading the department, building and sustaining the ADF for the future, ensuring our rep reform program is completed, including the addressing the events of our past and ensuring our success on current operations. Thank you for what has been an honour and a privilege for 42 years. Taking over the, as Chief of Defence Force comes at a particularly challenging time as we are in transition. And General Hurley has done a fantastic job as an inspirational leader during the three years leading up to this time that I take over. He's had a fantastic career, he's been a visionary, a great leader and I've been lucky enough to be a part of the command team with him for the last six years and his vice chief for the last three. I'd like to take the chance to publicly acknowledge the support of my family, Gita, my boys and also my family that are here today and those that couldn't make it for their great support over the last many, many years. I could not have got here without their support and I know four years in this job would be very difficult without their support. So once again, thank you very much. I look forward to working with all of you, both military and the Australian Public Service, over the next four years. Thank you.